folks. Well, I was waiting on, on a bit of a Pentium 4 build that I'm doing. Uh, currently uh, waiting on formatting a drive, so brought out my popcorn and uh, Rudy playmat and a 6.9 year anniversary set box with the seal still on so I can't sneak any tacos in. Would have been a, kind of a hilarious joke to just kind of like open it up and then there's a few tacos. But we're just going to have the premium shaky cam going on because... Okay, how am I supposed to open this up one-handed? Come on. <laughs> Yeah, well. Mm -hmm. Oh, can't really see it. There's AOL. well. Yeah, well powers my whole computer setup. So don't I have like a cut thing or something? Yeah, we could just use this PCI. Lock cover. Eh. No, I should have thought this uh, through. <laughs> what the heck? Didn't didn't expect the seal to be really that strong. Eh. Usually can just dig seals off and. Be done with it. Okay, there's one seal. So, one thing I've noticed, it feels like Rudy knows how to do a anniversary a lot better than Magic does right now. Nobody ever buy that product I hope Rudy doesn't buy that product. <laughs> Be greedy when others are fearful. So we're, we're looking for a pins that end 69 because everything about this is about 69. Come on. Oh. Rudy, you need it. No. This packaging is just too hard to open. Nope. 1100. I mean, double zero? There's no double zeros surprises, are there? I'm gonna have to double check afterwards. <laughs> Seriously. How am I supposed to get these things out? <laughs> I have to do this all one handed because one hand needs a 62. Just don't put my hand over there. Sixty one. This is fifty five. Fifty five. Sure, for you, Tony. Aren't there? Uh, I they're, they're, uh, I seem to remember there's supposed to be a pin holder somewhere down here. For the moment, I'm just gonna take them out. Twenty three. <laughs> Jeez. I think he had to also cut down the number of kits. Sixty one. So not didn't get any prizes off the the pin layer. <laughs> do, 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 6.9. Got the Mezu slot where we got Rudy's Nice Metal. I don't remember. Oh. Okay. Like, is this like a consolation prize? <laughs> like, you. 
cool, I guess. Um, double backed card. Not really. Wonder if these are older promos. Oh, there's a blank. And even bigger than that, which is a promo. <laughs> okay. It's a promotional card. But even bigger than that, if you've dealt damage this turn. Piercing damage, I don't know. They all, they all say that when you do attacks. Attack damage, I guess. Opt one, then reveal the top card of your deck. If it has greater attack than the amount of damage you dealt this turn, create a quicken token and draw a card. Look at the top card of your deck. You may put that on the bottom. Okay, even bigger than that. Hmm. And... Kamigawa. Collector Booster. <sighs> I didn't actually buy any of the set. <laughs> well, lady, it's just more. Oh, I'm hoping because I think there was supposed to be. Um, I think that was where the uh, art cards were supposed to be at. Of course, by opening a booster with one hand is kind of annoying. Spirit token. Also a treasure token. Oh, I mean, that's actually a good tre looking treasure token. Like, rather than the tre treasure box, it's like a big old gem with money in it. Or, no. That's supposed to be like a whatever orb. <laughs> orb with money in it. Resonary. Biting Palm Ninja. Here's the problem. I don't even know what half these cards do. <laughs> I don't even know if any of them are valuable. Cause I completely skipped this set because I was just kind of like, whatever. How many rares did I just get? Got one. <laughs> Two. Mm, and like, and I got an extra rare, a rare with the extended art. Got a rare, I guess this is the showcase. And you got another rare that's with extended art. Although this one here must be from, uh, it's probably from like a commander deck. I don't use another rare, just foil rare. Dragon spirit, oh geez. You know, they always scare me when I see this five man, five, one man of each color, like, holy cow. Um, how am I supposed to run that commander? Night Prowler. Okay, we're finally getting into non-rare cards. Ink Rise Infiltrator. Yeah, come on. Asari Captain. Sky Bless Samurai. There's no Bushido this time? Forest. Fancy Forest. The Fall of Lord Conda. And other cards that probably mean nothing, hardly. Assassin's Inc. Or played the... The Champions of Kamigawa set back when it was originally around. I just kind of didn't buy into this one because it just felt like it was just going a little silly. Neon, whatever, and blah blah blah. It's like, hey, it's almost like a go. Let's go to the current day. Excellent booster pack. Excellent booster pack. Crucible of War booster pack. Is this first edition? It's probably not first edition, is it? I don't know how to tell it's just a booster pack. I don't understand if this is first edition or not. This is probably unlimited. I don't think I actually got any unlimited ones. Pokemon. <laughs> this huge humongous card. Mawile. And... Rudy. Really big feet. Oh, 
Okay. Whatever. That yeah, wasn't. Well, let me see if I can actually open these one handed. Yar. Like, is this worth anything? <laughs> it's so huge. <laughs> There's all the pens I need to put over here before I accidentally puncture my hand. One pen backs. Seven percent of the drive formatter. I got some time. So do you. So you're watching this for some reason. <laughs> These are plastic, by the way. I have no idea what I'm going to do with some of these pins. They're just ridiculous. <laughs> These huge size. Rudy's nice metal. Rudy big, really big feet. I guess uh, after um, after he did the, did the thing with flesh and blood, I guess MetaZoo wanted to do something too. And honestly, I feel like flesh and blood was the original. Like this is what you need to do. It's really hard to d d determine how much. Because here's the thing, like, he, there's three different games that are uh, going on in here. Could have potentially four, because I think there's some Weiss products that could be even prizes and stuff like that. And so it's really hard to gauge how much any of this would be actually worth. Without having to just go look it up on the internet. You're not going to be able to really figure that out while you're opening everything up. I just got it even bigger than that in a blank. Yeah, yeah, this is unlimited. C-R-U. There's a hero. Common, 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 common. Let's get over to the things that we care about. Beat and greet. Swing fist. Heron's flight. This is a mythic. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, and this is foil, it looks like, too. Rare. Old growth dryads. That's not good at multiplayer. <laughs> oh no, what happened here? <laughs> it got damaged. Oh, we got a mythic. Trap Jaw Tyrant. 
Or assault damage like all the target creature and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. <laughs> I've been tempted to use this card, but um I feel like it's kind of counterproductive for the dinosaur deck that doesn't want to be board wiped. And it's like, yeah, let's get um let's hide one of my opponent's creatures every time he gets damaged <laughs> until they get rid of it. And it's like, oh, yeah. Alright, well, that's it.